Hello, today we're going to go over background selection. First background we're going to go over is duck cloth. Duck cloth is relatively simple. This is just a black duck cloth. It has a nice texture to it. And just gives you a nice solid color as a background. Red, black, white, they all look really good. For here, tying in the red, kind of with the PSA logo and just the twins red. And this is just a natural duck cloth. This is really nice for older cards. It's simple. If you're just looking for a simple background, duck cloth is kind of the way to go. Then we can see what that looks like with walnut frame. And another kind of traditional background we can choose is just to add a burlap overlay. It gives a nice, just some nice texture behind there. And with this color, we're kind of trying to target out that bottom color. You can kind of take any color from the background and make it work with the card. Burlaps kind of allow just to bring in two colors and make it still seem natural. Then we can use this baby blue kind of to tie in with his uniform. The lighter colors really look nice against the dark wood. I'll show you what that's like with an alder. We'll go back to the red. We'll throw this brown on there. There's a little bit of brown. Around this border. And it's hard to see on camera, but you get a little bit of that red coming through. We'll just throw a white. And it just simply kind of adds us a little extra dimension to everything. And then there's multiple different ways you can do red. Kind of all PSA cards look good with a red background. Just ties simply in with their logo. Kind of show you what the different frames look like. And then reds can really look good with like the hickory frames. Then to stay in the traditional kind of backgrounds, we got crushed velvet. It adds a nice little shimmer to the cards. Let's go with a gray background, just kind of neutral. That crushed velvet just kind of just shines. Even with a traditional white, it just adds a little bit of extra depth compared to like a duck cloth. And this is a traditional non-fumed quarter sawn white oak. Then we have a fume color. Dark woods look really great with a light background. And then we'll try to pick out a green color 
kind of in that background you can see there's a lot of green you can pick any kind of background color and we can kind of tie into that it makes a unique look I'll show you just sort of non-fume course on white oak. Then for traditional solid colors, we got this double gauze. It's just a nice soft background. Just double layered of cotton. Just gives a nice texture to it. And in this blue, we're trying to just complement the baby blue and I do have some darker blue in there. I'll show you what that looks like on cherry frame. Cherry looks really good with blues. We got this cream double gauze. I like double gauze for older cards. Even newer cards, it makes kind of gives it an older look. That's just kind of a basic soft background. And we'll just do a baby blue. Let's give you a quick show of what that looks like with a darker frame. Combination of light frames and dark. Light and dark with the backgrounds and frames looks always looks really good. It's just not going on. Now we're going into more of the miscellaneous backgrounds. This is just a solid blue corduroy. It's really dark navy. It's hard to show up on cameras. But you just get the nice vertical lines and a solid color. Show that cherry. There's just multiple ways to do red. It's kind of a tear fiber, but it's got a nice hexagon pattern on the on it. That's red with a fumed white oak. And this is just a really this is kind of the metallic satin. Satin's kind of a hard color to have by itself. I tend to use it mostly as a background. These really shiny backgrounds look really good in some of the modern cards. This is where we can kind of start playing around with the, the mesh and the laces. Just adds a nice kind of three-dimensional look. And kind of go with the metallic look again. We have like really shiny. I'll show you that in the darker frame. The meshes and gauzes just provide a nice, unique background to it, kind of customizing it. There's a lot of tools that just can add any color to any background. Now this is just kind of a unique uh, embroidered black. It's just kind of all about that texture and a different background perspective. Put a lighter frame on it. No matter what black you choose or white, it's always gonna look good under, underneath a card. You know, one of my newer favorites that I started doing is just a fur. This is a cream fur. A 
just kind of envelops the card. Gives it a nice look. Now kind of on to patterns. This is a way to really bring out the back. Just simple tablecloth. It looks really good. It has a little dimension to it. And you can get a little more aggressive with the patterns. Bandana always looks really nice. It's kind of just a bold background. And it kind of just really just pops the card. Now on a lot of these miscellaneouses, we can get different colors of the, the fabric, like the bandana, there's blue. If you like that look and you just need a different color, you can always get it, especially the laces and the tools. I like this one, I used it for a couple cards. Just a mustache. But you can kind of have fun with the background. We should see that, the lighter one. So, but the laces and tools and any kind of mesh, we can usually get that in other colors. I think we'll finish off just American flag. So if we find a background that we don't have the right color for, uh, we can order that for you. It might take a little more lead time. Some of them are always back ordered, um, but we'll do whatever we can to make your background work.